And what about uh, playing with other kids in the neighborhood? Well, you know, it was a little world unto itself, the neighborhood. It had to be. Uh, New Glasgow was, uh, uh, had uh, uh, three distinct uh, black groupings in the city. Vale Road, where I come from, they, we were thought of by the other communities as being the, the snobs. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, because that's where you found all the people who went through, who graduated from high school to first groups. So that's, yeah. uh, uh, that's where you found the people who were uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the sports people, the uh, like my baby, the, a big thing at that time, and I'm talking now about the late 40s, early 50s, was that uh, the aspirations for a, a, a black male, you had education, you could be a teacher, you could be a minister, or you went into the military. And the military that you went into was the army. You did not aspire to the Navy or Definitely not to the Air Force. Army. I was very aware of my position in the community mm -hmm. because of my physical presentation. Mm -hmm. I knew. And that is also why at a, why I'm now about, what, five, and I understand very clearly that there is something very wrong with how this person who's right here beside me that I play with every day is being treated by members of the community. My grandmother, da 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 da. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this because I'm feeling so funny inside mm -hmm. for him. And then my little mind starts putting pieces together. That the, uh, the only reason I could see that there was this difference in treatment because I looked like this and he looked like that. Mm -hmm. And yet this is my cousin. Mm -hmm.